It was just like any other day. I was scrolling through Instagram when all of a sudden I got a message request. It was from a guy named Brian. He told me that he loved my photos and that I was a huge inspiration to him. I'm the type of guy that likes to be crazy, so I sent him a message asking him if he wanted to come with me on a photo trip to Indonesia. And that's how the story begins. It was about 4 a.m. when Brian and I met at the airport. We sat down to plan the trip and then we headed to domestic departures to board our flight at 7 a.m. The flight was about 30 minutes to Labuan Bajo on the island of Flores. Although I was tired, it was extremely hard to fall asleep with beautiful views right outside our window. We've now reached our destination. We landed, found a driver, and went on a two-hour bumpy ride to our first adventure. We saw beautiful waterfalls and super sketchy bridges. It started to rain heavily, so we took cover under a tent and had some local food to warm us up before we headed home. So it is six in the morning and we had a little issue waking up this morning. I didn't wake up, Brian didn't wake up, and our driver was calling us like 50 million times. But we finally got here. The sun is just rising. But right now we're going to Pink Beach Sunrise area. It's still gonna be fun and Komodo National Park. What's here? You see the Komodo National Park. Komodo what? what? Komodo Jura? Komodo Dragon. Dragon, yeah. yeah. Is it true that Komodo Dragon, can they eat humans? They eat humans also. They eat humans? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yo, they eat humans. <laughs> That, that's why you have that stick, right? I have the stick to protect it. He has the stick to protect it. <laughs> we then headed back to Bali, where we met with our driver and went to our Airbnb. What's up, guys? We made it to Bali, and I honestly can't believe I'm back here. It's so cool. We just checked into our Airbnb here. We are super tired. We are super red. I'm super excited to explore Bali, but we have only two days here. At the Airbnb, we met two awesome girls, so we decided to spend the day with them. The next day, Brian and I headed north. We then made it to the Balinese jungle, where we explored beautiful rice terraces. We had a tour guide who took us to one of the most famous waterfalls in all of Bali. On the way, we met some locals and we stopped at some smaller waterfalls. I'm with Rudy, and we're about to jump. Yeah, together. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you alright, Josh? Guys, I'm so dead. Call an ambulance, bro. My legs are freaking shaking. <laughs> We climbed up, what, 380 stairs? 380 steps, the most steepest stairs. Going down was okay, but coming up. Yeah, dude. Holy freaking. It started raining. We had one of the most amazing days thanks to our tour guide, but it wasn't over yet. So this is my friend Andy. Every time I'm in Bali, he 
he drives me and he's super nice, best guy. I've honestly, I've seen him more than I've seen my family these last two months. <laughs> we had a good time, yes, good music, and thank you so much. Bye. It was almost time to go home, but I had one more thing I had to do. I got the opportunity to film at Indonesia's largest music festival. My original flight was supposed to be early in the day, but I had to reschedule because I knew this was an opportunity I couldn't miss. I was working for a legendary DJ named Marlo. He's a super dope guy, and I'm forever grateful for this opportunity. And that's when things got a little bit crazy. and some memories are always special to us and Indonesia will forever hold a special place in my heart. 